You can't solve this boogeyman called white supremacy, and that's why they continue to echo it, because they don't actually have to do anything. You cannot solve white supremacy. It's a boogeyman. That is Fox News host Tammy Lahren claiming Democrats are blowing white supremacy and racism out of proportion. They just get to fire people up and make people feel like oppressor, oppressors and victims. And it's a talking point that unfortunately has been very effective, so they're going to keep using it. That guy on the left, Joey Jones, is a Marine Corps vet who's about to shame Laren. White supremacy is not a good thing. I'm all for attacking it where it exists. And where it existed just hours before the show was on the mall in Washington, D.C. 150 members of the Patriot Front white supremacist group marched carrying shields and battle drums. They were escorted by police to separate them from a counter-protest. The Patriot Front has made appearances across the United States, and police tracking data shows white supremacist, racist, and anti-Semitic violence in America is on the rise. And yet, there was Tammy Lahren insisting the hatred has been made up by Democrats. Biden, his entire administration, Democrats as a, as a whole, have been able to use this ultra-mega white supremacist threats to democracy. They've been able to use this. It's no coincidence they echo this every time they get a chance because they want those independent, those Democrat, and especially those liberal voters to actually believe the biggest threat we face is white supremacy because they can't really solve that. Right. You can solve the border crisis. That's solvable. Donald yeah. Trump did it. You can solve national security to an extent. You can't solve this boogeyman called white supremacy. Mm. Did you notice how she put boogeyman in quotes? Well, for the record, boogeyman is defined as an imaginary monster used to frighten children. So Laren sees white supremacy as imaginary, and she sees the children as American voters who are being frightened by white supremacism. Amazing. This issue has gained traction because President Joe Biden delivered a commencement speech recently at Howard University and said we all need to join together and take action against white supremacy. To stand up against the poison of white supremacy as I did my inaugural address to a single out as the most dangerous terrorist threat to our homeland is white supremacy. Homeland Security Mayorkas followed up President Biden's remarks with this. In the terrorism context, domestic violent extremism is uh, our greatest threat uh, right now. Individuals are driven to violence because of ideologies of hate. Regrettably, we have seen a rise in white supremacy. Body count for lone wolf terrorists in this country is higher right now than it's been a long time. And, and I'm, I'm down, I am for anything to help with that and have those discussions. Kudos to Fox host Joey Jones for his honesty and willingness to stand up to Tommy Lahren. It may not help his career at Fox, though, given headlines like this. Fox co-host runs over Tommy Lahren after she implies Biden is blowing white supremacy crisis out of proportion. It is fine to debate whether white supremacy is the most dangerous threat to our homeland. I appreciate the argument that maybe Chinese-made fentanyl is killing more Americans and thus more dangerous, although in my view, fentanyl is not a terrorism threat per se. However, to claim that white supremacism, white nationalism, and racism are part of a fictional boogeyman fabricated by the Biden administration for political purposes, that is absolute nonsense, and Tommy Lahren ought to be ashamed of herself. Of course, self-shame is usually never found among the most popular hosts at Fox News. Their priority is to appeal to the right-wing audience and dismiss any evidence that the right-wing traffics in hate. In any case, another day, another absurd claim on Fox News. Meanwhile, the white supremacist-driven mass shootings keep coming. By the way, in South Carolina, racists called police on a black photographer exercising his constitutional rights, and the photographer delivered a hilarious verbal jab. I don't have any kids. Good thing. Excuse me? Thank you, ma'am. Good thing what? You good thing I don't have any kids? You got something funny to say about me not having any kids? I just said it. Once the police arrived, the racist got a surprise. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.